Hello and welcome to a new video. Today we're going to take a look at a very nice team here. It's a team that I already showcased in the, what I called the Retro Cup last time around. The Retro Cup was available. We changed the moveset a little bit for the Hypno, but the main star of this team is of course the Oranguru. And like this was also the thing that I kind of teased last time around uh, in the last video for the Pokemon. Their thought has very, very much play in this current meta. Um, you see this team, Machamp in the lead against the Steel types, which you don't really want to face. Also, um, of course, against the Dark types, both of them you don't really want to face with your Oranguru in the back. And then we have here, last time around, when we played Oranguru, we used Oranguru as a safe swap. This time around, we used it as a closer. Main, main reason for this is we have no Steel types and Dark types available. So, Steel types and Dark types are both. Pokemon that you really don't want to face with your Ranguru and you don't really have any options to play against it whatsoever. So we use our Hypno here. And the funny thing about Hypno in general is the moveset that we have here. This moveset seems to be a little bit more funky first, but um, it actually does make a lot of sense. And sadly, my opponent doesn't give me the opportunity to throw the Focus Blast here, but I think we're gonna see some Focus, focus Blast later. Um, the thing here is, if you think about it, you have the Machamp in the lead. If you swap out into a Psychic type, what do they gonna swap into? Either the Dark type, which is in this type, in this case, especially the Mandibus, which is not really that common to be honest right now, or the Swilers. Both of them are weak to the Ice Punch, or they throw in their Steel type. And Steel types, of course, you could run Fire Punch, which would be a little bit more safe, but Steel types in general usually take enough hits that they would survive Fire Punches pretty easily. So Reed opted to go for the Focus Blast also because it's hilarious. But um, this moveset itself I think is really really good on it and I think it really is worth it. I think this moveset in general is like so much fun. Like you see, look at this Vigoroth by the way. Bye! Does this hit? It definitely does it. Nobody expects it. Bye Vigoroth! <laughs> So hilarious. And we see the Meganium coming in here and we have the Ice Punch for it. You see why this moveset is like so smart. Um, I looked through the entire meta and saw like what I want to run. Fire Punch also does make sense. Thunder Punch not really because Ice Punch basically um, hits everything that the Thunder Punch also would hit and some stuff even better. For example, the Wish Cast. Wish Cast doesn't really want to face, uh, like does like to face some Thunder Punches anyway. So Ice Punch is at least neutral instead of resisted. So this team definitely does make a lot of sense and we have the Oranguru here which is just a very good Pokemon. You see my V-Spread, it's pretty much horrible, but we still can do a lot of things with this thing. It, 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 it's amazing, like this Pokemon is so much fun to play with. It's so good in the current meta. One problem for this as well is that AUX are a little bit more common, but you can play around those. As we see a Machamp in the lead, we're gonna try to catch the move here I think. Um, we start a little bit late, but we sync up again later on, which is fine then. We can catch the move, but we don't get the move through. As they go into their frosters, which is not the best, but they most likely gonna expect me if I shield here that I have something to weaken him, and I just want to get him low in terms of health. Um, in general, I played now 55 games so far this season, and I had one bug, which you saw already, I think, last video, and this was basically it. Otherwise, the game actually worked perfectly for me, which doesn't have to say anything currently. Like, don't say, get me wrong and say, oh, this game is fixed now. Doesn't have to be fixed, but for me at least it's playable, which is something better than what we had last season. Maybe they changed something with the new update, which got forced, I don't know. We see the Pelipper against us here. We go for the foul play. We're gonna get the shield from my opponent and we're gonna be able to get another quick move through here. Getting a confusion through is so amazing as they go for a weather ball. And we still gonna be easily able to survive this move. Where the ball does not a lot of damage, even though our V spread is so horrible. I need to get a good one, but they're kind of quite rare in the wild right now. And we can farm down the opponent's Machamp, winning us the game there. Very nice. Uh, you're gonna need, of course, very nice for us. We don't, I mean, we have like some options with the backline as well. But here you see AWAC against AWAC. Oranguru is, of course, your best answer. This thing can actually deal a lot of damage. But also, like, still, even though like your Hypno kind of gets hard walled, they still have to expect you to have Shadow Ball. So you usually get a shield from them back here. We just destroy the AWAC, which is amazing for us. AWAC lead can be a problem, but yeah, I mean, I made just a video about AWAC lead. Maybe it's gonna be a little, a little bit more common. Who knows? But still, it's fine. 
we can go now into our Machamp and they go into their Shadow Shop Hero. Very spicy, but doesn't really matter too much as we can go for one cross job. As we can go for another cross job and I don't think my opponent really wants to play against me anymore after this one. As we can swap out into our Hypno and... Do I actually go for the boom? Can I go for the boom? I don't know, like, I'm just gonna let the Icy Wind go through. Do they actually still try to play it out? I should have maybe let it go here and try to no shield flex my opponent, but I can still just go for the zero bubble, one HP for my opponent, focus burst just to flex a little bit. That's how you do it anyway. We see the Machamp against the Mew. Mew is also a little bit of a problem in the lead, uh, but Machamp is a, like this is the thing with Machamp. There is not really a lot of really horrible matchups with Machamp other than maybe like fairy types, which is also not the best maybe for this team, but still worked out usually. But you can just punch through things, like you can just punch through this Mew, like we don't really care about the Mew, we just go through with our counter. And you see like how low I already got him. Of course I have to shield twice here, but we will be able to win this matchup, but my opponent swaps out into a Primeape. I just want to get rid of a shield here to be honest. As we're gonna get this, and we can go into a Hypno, and we get the move through, which is amazing. As we're now gonna be able to definitely farm down here, he gets us a little bit lower, but we now have one move stored already which is nice my opponent gonna decide to go into his vigoroth can we go for the mm, focus blast sadly we can't we still should be fine here so like i kind of memed around with this i'm i should be still in a decent spot but i actually underestimated the counter damage here from my opponent but he swaps into Mew, which is kind of a mistake by him as we can swap now into our Oranguru and Oranguru gonna be able still to take two body slams here even though our V spread is of course not ideal. Um, we see that we can still take this, we in red health, but we can go for one foul play here and win this game. Oranguru's typing is just so amazing, like you have the normal and psychic typing which actually has Meloetta I think as well and also the Giraffic, which both are like not really either even available or good in this kind of meta, but yeah. We see the Wishkas here against us. Go so Blizzard. I most likely could have played this better, by the way, against the Wishkas. I think I misplayed it a lot. Um, we see them letting this go. I have to shield this now. I should be able to farm down in time now after this one, and we can realign. But if we wouldn't be able to realign here, this would be a kind of a problem. As we see the Swallows coming in here, we can go for one foul play. This foul play, of course, does no damage whatsoever. Dark types and steel types are kind of a problem. As we see the Swallows coming in, we have a Hypno in the back. Yeah, Hypno in the back is, of course, very good for us, as we can go for Ice Punch. And the Ice Punch, of course, gonna do some nice damage if they're gonna let it go. I think I have a move stored on my Machamp, so we are in a good spot here, and we have the next Ice Punch already, which got gonna get the last shield. And my opponent can't really do anything here about this anymore. Like, he can go for a move, but we have our cross chop stored in the back, winning us the game here. Good game to my opponent. Um, yeah, like, the psychic damage in this fighting type meta is kinda insane. It's, it's just really nice. Now, of course, even though Machamp kind of... Oh, here, for example, we see a Maraclete. Let's see how we go and play this out. Gonna be a little bit awkward because, of course, they're gonna do some nice damage with their Shadow Bone. You go and go straight for the Shadow Bone. I'm just gonna, gonna bait them here with my Cross Chop. Um, we're gonna get the Shield, which is nice. We can go for the Rock Slide now, which I think I'm just gonna let go every, afterwards anyway. But they're gonna let it go as well, which means we can realign. I'm just gonna let this move go through we can go into a hypno they have a superior as long as they don't go for leaf tornado and debuff me we are fine here they go for leaf tornado and of course they get the 50 percent chance to debuff my attack twice which makes this ice punch pretty much useless and this makes it all a little bit awkward as they're gonna go for another leaf tornado which doesn't debuff luckily but still kind of awkward that we <laughs> have no to deal with this and they get to another move in time. I did not expect that they would be uh, that spammy, but we can just farm down with the Oranguru and we see the Golem in the back, which we should be able to take on pretty easily, I think. We go for the foul play. They're gonna shield it up and they can go for whatever move they want to. We're gonna shield it up. They go for the wild charge as we're gonna get another move through. And Oranguru, even though I respit is horrible, is still tanky enough to take one wild charge pretty easily. This thing is actually pretty bulky, or Oranguru, not like a zoomer level or anything like this, but tankier than, for example, the Saber Eye, which is already nice. 
We see the Sylveon need, of course, horrible. We see the Scissor coming in against us. I don't think we're going to be able to win this game, to be honest. This doesn't really look too good. These are like the most hardest counters that you could have here. They are not fearing the Fire Punch, which is kind of insane. So we're going to go into our Machamp now after the time ticks down a little bit further. We can let this move go through and we can farm all the way down. Nowadays, um, you cannot transfer a quick moves anymore towards um, other Pokemon, so I have to go straight for the cross chop. This quick move is still gonna go through on our Machamp, and we see this uh, stun fist in the back, and yeah, this game is pretty much over now. There's not a lot that I can do here. He goes for the Mud Bomb, of course, I'm gonna shield up here. I can go for one future side, which is gonna do a lot of damage, but how the hell are we supposed to deal with a Sylveon? So, good game to my opponent here. Um, of course, kind of hard counted, like we had the worst possible safe swap option against me and we have the worst possible lead and both of them are kind of random kind of meta. So we're still gonna try to get to another foul play, but I already see here like we would get way too low in terms of health and he can of course throw in a perfect timing with a Moonblast. Good game to my opponent. Of course he cannot win them all. We see the Pidgeot lead really horrible for us. We're gonna swap immediately into our Hypno. They swap into their own Hypno, which is super risky because usually the recommended moveset on Hypno is Shadow Ball and do their shield here. No, they don't. And I was like, okay, if they don't shield, they might not have Shadow Ball on their own. They do have Shadow Ball on their own. And this is, of course, not looking really good, to be honest. Um, yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to win this game, to be honest. There's not a lot that we are... Oh, we're going to get a Machamp against us. That's weird. We're going to be able to shield this up. We're going to put him into a range where I should be able to farm down with my own Machamp now after this quick move, which doesn't allow him to get to another move. But this doesn't look too good. We can go for one cross chop here, which should get him at least like get the shield there from him. And we're going to put him very, very low. Maybe we get the confusion through, which is amazing. But I see already after the Feather Dance, I don't do enough damage with the confusion. I gonna be able to deny my opponent, which is gonna come in clutch as we can go for one more foul play in time, winning us the game here. Good game to my opponent. And yeah, like this was kind of crazy that we still were able to win this game. We see another fighting type in the lead. Of course, we're gonna swap out immediately. Of course, my opponent also swaps out immediately into their Pelipper, which I am fine with as we're gonna do a lot of damage with Confusion and Ice Punch still. We're gonna shield up the Ice Punch. It doesn't matter if we have thunder punch or ice punch here as i shield up the first one afterwards after the confusion damage the ice punch is also enough to ko a pelipper pretty pretty easily we see them gonna they're gonna let this go as well we see the mirror coming in and they just want to go for the straight farm down i'm just gonna go straight for the ice punch here though i kind of want to get the damage on him so i can farm down later they just not gonna shield and i don't get to another ice punch sadly but i'm gonna very very low and you know already we don't really care too much about the moves of Marowak and we expect my opponent to swap out pretty fast and I try to catch the move which worked out really well on our main champ. We get the counter through, we still survive this so we get more counters through which puts them into the range where I can farm down with confusion from my Ranguru and we're gonna be able to easily win this game against this little Marowak as well. Um, uh, simultaneously swap there was definitely in my favor because if they went into the Marowak it would have been a different game as we had a different kind of Pokemon, of course, for the Marowak with the Oranguru. My opponent surrenders here, and this is going to be a good game. Into the second to last battle, most likely, or the last battle. We have to see. We see the Beedrill coming in. We can go into our Hypno. We should be able to farm all the way down. I'm just going to note. Now I'm actually going to shield this here. It's kind of safe. I guess he goes for a Fell Stinger, which, of course, doesn't do uh, damage at all if that would hit. They can go for another one, which I'm not... It actually did way more than I expected, to be honest which I didn't shield then, we see the Mandibus coming in, and this is the fine thing with Hypno, we have the Ice Punch now, and Ice Punch hurts like hell, which I actually didn't expect that it would do that much. And we can realign our Pokemon, which are fine, so we can now go for one Ice Punch again against this Mandibus. Gonna see that my opponent swaps out into the Greed, and I can go into my, my champ, and my opponent makes a crucial mistake here, I remember this game actually. They are going ahead and shielding up this cross chop, which didn't really make too much sense because now you see already they get lower and lower and I get like not really that low from the quick moves and I can just farm down. I have my rock slide stored. I think I still would have won with the Aranguru to be honest, but um, crucial mistake by my opponent not um, shielding the correct move and we go into the last match now. Very interesting lead with the Stunfist, the Novan Stunfist of course is allowed, we can go into our Hypno 
and we have the ice punch ready for this thing. I just wanted to store some energy on my um, very good catch by my opponent here, by the way, on the Ferrothorn. I wish I could have landed a uh, focus burst on this thing. I would have loved that, but I should have also went for a move here. Kind of misplaying here a lot. So I have to now go into my Machamp and throw here perfectly onto his charge move, which my opponent gonna shield up, which is very interesting. We can shield up as well as this is gonna be definitely a power whip and we're gonna be able to farm all the way down, have enough energy to throw it against the Stunfisk and I can swap out into my Oranguru and Oranguru gonna be able to finish off this game, I think. We have to see what they have in the deck, but there's not a lot that Oranguru really doesn't want to face. Let's see what they have. They swap it to Pelipa. Oranguru doesn't care. Pelipa, totally fine for this little monkey here. We can just go for a nice foul play again and we should be able to win this. And you see the power of Oranguru. Oranguru is such a good Pokemon. Definitely worth building. Definitely worth trying out this team again. It worked out really, really well. Thanks for watching. See you next video. Have a great rest of your day. Bye.